up? What's up, ladies? It is a beautiful, gorgeous Saturday in my town. What about yours? I'm back at you again with a hot topic. Um, I posted on my Facebook page a random thought. Uh, I did this the other day, and wow, did I get a lot of feedback. Um, I was asking the question of, well, actually, I made a statement about, I'm think, I think that I'm ready to start dating again. And for those uh, people that view my channel, I think I've mentioned my age a few times. I am 51. Yes, I am. I know I don't look like it, but I am. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I haven't dated in quite a while as far as I would say at actually just seriously dating. I, of course, I've gone out on on dates with guys and, you know, to a movie or to dinner. But I haven't been in a relationship for several years. And that was by choice. And I had a reason for doing it. I wanted to take a hiatus. And if, for those of you that have listened to some of my uh, vlogs, know I talked in depth about relationships and, and why I took a break. But um, I think I'm ready to date again. So I posted on my Facebook page my random thought about it and just, you know, made some jokes. I even commented about was there any books out there um, for dating over 50. <laughs> And it was some things were some of the responses were really great. Of course, a lot of people told me um, to start with the Bible. Of course, um, you know, some things you already know. <laughs> uh, I mean, I am 50. I've lived a lot. I have a lot of wisdom. I've been through a lot. So there's some basic things that I know that um, I shouldn't shouldn't do in, in the course of dating. But it was just a general thought just to get it out there, trying to get some dialogue back and forth between men and women about dating at our age, this middle age. And it was kind of funny. But then I had someone post that um, I could refer to Steve Harvey's book. And I thought that was really funny because, you know, I actually purchased uh, both of Steve Harvey's book and I did read the first one all the way through. It was very entertaining. Um, Steve does give a lot of insight about men and um, the way they are, their makeup, how they are, and why they're the way they are. You know, he gave a lot of insight on that. But as women, a lot of us should already know some of the things that Steve talked about because, you know, we've dated. We dealt with men. We know how men are in certain in instances. And, you know, I'm not saying that it's not helpful or anything like that. But the person that made the comment, I think they were being a little sarcastic about it. Um, so, of course, I made a comment back or whatever. But, um Let's talk about that. Uh, let's talk about dating uh, after 50. A lot of people at my age um, are already settled down. They have husbands and wives and children, and they've been married 20 plus years a lot of times. And so they're not going through this, um, this stage where I'm at right now because I dated and you know, I've been married. I was married twice. And uh, of course, my marriages didn't work out. And various reasons and like I said I talked about that in one of my blogs um, but now that I'm you know my kids are grown they're out of the house I'm considering actually you know pursuing another relationship and actually dating seriously um, when I say pursue that doesn't mean I'm gonna run out out there and just start looking for a guy that means that when a guy approaches me and uh, seriously you know talk about you know, wanting share well, actually sharing some interest in me and trying to see where I can go. I may entertain it if that's a person I have chemistry. So I want to, you know, some of the thoughts of you, uh, ladies and men. What are your viewpoints about dating at middle age? Um, it's different. It's actually a lot different. Not only spiritual, spiritually, but um, it's just a time and a space when you get here where you just you don't entertain a lot of things that you may have done when you were 20 and um, and that's where I'm at so a lot of times I think when I do meet guys and I see it going down that road <laughs> you know I'm willing I'm not willing to do that and I'll like back it up you know and I'll just pull away so um, what are you what are your views on that um, uh, I do know that at this stage of my life I'm not into uh, being sexually involved with a man uh, be because a relationship with for me now would be about where we're going with this 
So I'm not looking for what a lot of people are doing today in that casual realm of relationships. So how would you go about um, making that known when you're dating? Um, if you don't respond, that's just something for you to think about. Um, women, uh, I feel that I have a voice now for women and I try to speak um, from from all the education that I've learned from my experiences and um, it's just time out for um, we selling ourselves short when it comes to dating and men. If a man is uh, genuinely interested in you, he will pursue you. You don't have to do all of the chasing and um, a lot of times extending yourself far beyond what you should. Uh, I feel that women should value who they are, value your bodies, and demand respect. That's first and foremost. Um, I see a lot of disrespectful relationships these days. And it's not just with women. I mean, women do disrespect men as well. But I see women allowing men to put them down, demean them, um, disrespect them, even in the way that they talk to them, um, the language People that know me that's in my circle and even the people that I work with, they all know that I require certain language around me. Um, not saying that, you know, I'm scary or that somebody wouldn't, you know, talk a certain way around me. But I think it's just a respect thing because I don't use profanity. Therefore, I don't like profanity being used when I'm in a relationship with someone. Now, what people do as far as my friends and things like that, that's your own business. But I think, you know, for me, it's just a level of respect. And if I don't like, you know, the, you know, that language being used around me, I don't want it used around me. So that would go into the relationship that I have with the guy. And it's a choice. And if a man chooses not to uh, agree with that, then that's just a choice that he would have to make whether or not it's something he could do or whether or not he would want to continue pursuing a relationship with me. But that's what I mean. You have to stand your ground. If there are certain things that you don't like, then you stand your ground. You don't overlook it and say, oh, well, that's okay. I can just overlook that knowing that that's going to be something hard for you to deal with. You know, I don't smoke. I don't like smokers. I can't stand smoke. Smoke gives me a headache. So why would I date a guy that smokes? Even if he's nice, even if he's given, you know, um, he could be all of those things. Being a smoker doesn't make you a bad person. But I know that those are things that would be hard for me to be able to deal with. So when you get to this age of dating, you kind of like stand your ground. You kind of know who you are. You know what you're willing to accept. You know what you're willing to give. And um, it does take compromising on certain things. But when it comes to your morals and your values, those are things that you do not compromise. So um, I just want to know, um, you know, what are your views on that? Um, I, um, I am pursuing that now and I'm ready. Uh, I, I always said that I would think about um, having another relationship once all of my children were grown and living on their own and you know, because I never really wanted to bring a bunch of, you know, men around my children and in my home while they were here. So now that that has happened, I am ready to um, pursue that. I think dating is a beautiful thing. I would love to um, have a relationship go somewhere in the future. But I am very content with my life because I try to um, fill it up with a lot of beautiful things or beautiful experiences because truly when you get here at this stage of life you don't have a lot of time to be trying to figure things out you should kind of know who you are um, yeah you will have you know things that happen to you but you kind of know who you are you kind of know what you like uh, well not kinda you do know you know what you like you know what you're willing to put up with and you kind of just put your foot down and say yeah this is how it works and so that's where I'm at. I have some beautiful friends. And I've always said that if it never happened to me again, if I never got married again, um, I think that would not be a good thing. But I think I could live with it because I have so many things in my life that I'm doing. I have a lot going on. Not only work, but it's like you discover 
the things that you want you wanted in life or you kind of know your purpose and your hobbies and your interests and you just kind of like go full steam ahead toward those things when you get here I can't really explain it you just have to get here so a lot of times young people think oh your life is over you're getting old and you know whatever but they don't know truly when you get to this stage of life if you're blessed to be healthy and uh, your right mind <laughs> this is actually like the beauty of living because you can do things that you never was able to do whether it was due to finances or um, just not having the time children raising a family and so I'm at that point now so I have a lot of hobbies on uh, things that I want to try and I'm doing that I'm trying to live my life to the fullest but I would love to have somebody to share it with. But um, as I stated before, it's just a lot of things that I'm not willing to compromise with myself in order to have a relationship. I have a really crazy sense of humor. And it's got to be somebody that understands that, um, especially someone that's, that's spiritual, that loves God and actually involves him in their life on a daily basis. That's really important to me as well. Um when I got here to this stage of life, it wasn't so important to me to have things. I have simplified my life. I mean, when I say simplified, it has simplified. I am simplified. <laughs> I have a downsized. I live in a one-bedroom cute apartment on a pond. I can sit out on my patio and I watch the ducks in the pond and I see the fountain. And, you know, if I want to have a glass of wine, I can. I can listen to my music. I have a cute little Kia, uh, so the one that the little hamsters, you know, it's not about having a BMW or Lexus and, you know, this big, you know, five, six room bedroom home. I simplify my life because I wanted to enjoy the things that mean the most to me. And I love to travel. So I would love to have somebody that would, you know, enjoy traveling. And that's why I said, I think. For me, instead of looking at where I'm at now negatively about not having a partner, I can look at it and respect the fact that now going in to a relationship, I can truly speak what I want and mean it and not be afraid to get the reaction from that person if it's a rejection. You know, because rejection is a part of life. You, we all got to have it. And that's not to say I've never met a guy or dated a guy that turned around and decided that this wasn't a good fit because I have because you know they have things that they like and their standards as well as me and it's just just good to know that in the beginning so I always feel like you need to put your cards out on the table in the beginning and let a person know where you stand because in the end it'll save you a lot if you go two three months down the road with this person and find out that you can't meet their needs or they can't meet yours and then you got to go your separate ways and you care about a person and it's just a big mess. Everybody's hurt, upset, mad or whatever the case may be. You put them out there in the beginning. They kind of know who you are. They can respect that and go on. You know, so that's the way I live my life. And my my journey of encouraging women is to be strong and powerful like that. Not afraid of having people turn you down, you know. I mean, it's it's going to happen and you're not going to always get what you want in life. But I truly believe that you'll get what you need. And as long as you stay positive, you stay upbeat uh, about life and just take things as they come to you. I think the good things will come to you as well. So those are my words. I hope someone will come in back. I want to hear from ladies that are dating at 50 and over. 40 and over is great, too, because that's really middle age as well. And let me know some of your experiences and what you think. Um, I do have Steve Harvey's second book, <laughs> and I started reading it, and I haven't finished it. And it's actually an autograph copy um, that a friend of mine sent for me when he was at a book signing. Y'all see I have it? And it's really, really great to 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 listen to Steve talk about men and um, give his opinion about uh, the way men are and what they think um, is great uh, because it is actually some things in here that I have learned about men that 
you know, I never thought I knew uh, that that would really be uh, how men look. It did. It does give you insight on the differences between men and women and how we think about certain things and how um, men express love that's differently from women because we are some emotional beings. Ladies, we know we are. And men are not. And and it took me a long time to learn that. So I just want to get some feedback, y'all. And um, please hit my channel up. Uh, I'm talking about everything from um, just inspiring women to be strong and powerful. Um, no matter where, what stage of life you're in, what walk of life, you don't have to be rich. You don't have to be poor. Whatever the case may be, wherever you are in your life, I hope that, that the words that I'm putting out will inspire you to want to um, find out who you are and pursue that and, and live the best life that you can. And I'm trying to motivate sisters to come together and respect one another and to encourage one another, help each other. Um, that's what my challenge is about. And we're going to talk about a lot of things. I'm not an expert in any fields. Uh, I do, I'm doing my hair journey on there. Um, so I'll have natural hair reveals. Um, wearing a protective style. I'm doing that. We're going to talk about uh, love. We're going to talk about sex. Um, we're going to talk about a lot of things. Um, mentoring, helping our younger generation. I want to, uh, this channel to inspire women of all races and nationalities, whatever the case may be. So you guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I look forward to talking to you soon. I hope you enjoy your day as much as I am. I'm about to um, sit back and relax. Because it's a three-day weekend. Peace.